Tia, Dina? Yes. Dina Natalia Dina. Prayogo. Yes. Okay. I'm Ibu here. Dina, could you please share your screen to check whether you can share and without any trouble? Which one? Okay, that's good. Okay, please stay there because you will be the first one. Okay. Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll start. Okay, we'll start. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining this session. This is uh, in room three uh, with the group of supply chain modeling. Okay, it's a 3.35 now here in Indonesia. We would like to start with the first presenter. Thank you everybody for coming in. And thank you for observer who are also coming in here uh, in this session. The first presenters, uh, by the way, my name is Imam. I'm from ITS, Surabaya. I'm the colleague of Professor Nyoman Kujawan. Okay, so the first presenter is uh, Mr. Miss Dina Natalia Prayogo from University of Surabaya, Indonesia. Uh, the, pep, the title of the paper is Multi-Objective Robust Optimization Model for Facility Layout Design Under Demand Uncertainty. Ms. Dina, time is yours. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Emma. Uh, thank you for everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for this time uh, given to us to present our paper with the title Multi Objective Robust Optimization Model for Facility Layout Design Under Demand Uncertainty. My name is Tina Natalia Payoko, and my friend is uh, Olivia Novanda. Uh, we are from uh, Department of Industrial Engineering, University of Surabaya, Indonesia. This is the agenda of uh, our presentation. Uh, start with introduction, followed by the problem uh, statement and model development. Uh, we will discuss about the research of uh, implementation of this model. And finally, uh, we have a conclusion. For the first uh, introduction, uh, facility layout uh, planning is an important uh, factor in the manufacturing industry because around 20% up to 50% of the operational costs uh, in the manufacturing system depend on facility planning and material handling design. Material handling costs efficiency from an optimal uh, facility layout will result in uh, operational cost saving of approximately 10% uh, to 20%. So far, few uh, research uh, has been done on the optimization model of facility layout planning uh, that uh, took into account uh, the uncertainty of demand for its type of product. The uncertainty of product uh, demand has an impact on the uncertainty of material movement frequency uh, between departments, uh, which uh, affect the eff effective positioning of the department as a component of material handling of costs. For this paper, uh, we will propose a model, multi objective, robust of the decision model for uh, unequal uh, area facility layout planning by considering the uncertainty of uh, product demand. As you know, this uh, uh, facility layout, uh, of the, uh, for example, we have uh, several uh, departments uh, with each department. Uh, we have a center of uh, its department uh, shown in uh, X, Y, and uh, X, I, and uh, Y, I as a center of its department. In this case, uh, we use a Manhattan uh, distance uh, formula to calculate the distance between uh, department and this formula. And each uh, department uh, have a density uh, requirement uh, that show uh, also distance uh, about uh, uh, between the department. The adjacent requirement uh, is not uh, used in the nation A, uh, E, I, O, U, and X. Uh, we uh, present the distance uh, between uh, department is, uh, for example, uh, Opportunity or extremely uh, disruptive uh, closely. Uh, so we uh, use uh, agency value uh, score is uh, five uh, as the maximum 
and zero uh, is the minimum or uh, undesirable uh, costly between uh, two departments. And this sentence of uh, adjective vectors uh, will depend on the this, this uh, distance uh, between department I and department uh, G. The maximum adjective vector is one and uh, minimum is uh, zero. We use robust optimization uh, model uh, to formulate the uncertainty uh, demand. Uh, in the, our model, uh, we will uh, minimize the total uh, ma material handling costs. Uh, in this model, we have uh, two uh, terms. The first term is used for so solution of vastness, and the second term is used to characterize the model of vastness. Uh, we use a uh, discrete uh, scenario uh, to represent uh, our um, uncertainty demand. As a problem statement, uh, for each product, we have a process flow uh, and each department uh, required to uh, process that product uh, and unit load uh, between a department. We also have a product uh, demand data uh, that in this case, uh, consider the uncertainty uh, demand. Uh, this uh, three uh, data will uh, influence the frequency between uh, the movement frequency uh, between department. And we have the uh, department specification and orientation. Uh, department orientation means uh, we uh, use uh, the length of batman in parallel uh, x axis uh, direction or in particular uh, x axis the uh, orientation and we have a functional relationship that uh, influence the agency requirement uh, this the uh, parameter will uh, influence the distance between uh, departments and uh, to find the facility uh, of planning we use uh, multi-objective robust optimization. We have three uh, objective functions. Uh, for the first is uh, minimize uh, the expected total material handling cost. Uh, second uh, objective function is maximize the total uh, agency carries. And the third is uh, maximize the space utilization ratio. Now we uh, turn to the uh, model uh, development. The development of the multi-objective uh, robust optimization model for unequal uh, area facility layout uh, problem is carried by considering demand uncertainty for each uh, type of product, uh, the production uh, process flow uh, for its uh, product type, uh, the characteristic of its uh, department, uh, the inter-departmental uh, relationship, uh, which is stated in the agency factor between departments. This model has uh, indices uh, I and G uh, as a set of departments, K as an adjective fact, uh, function, P as the product type, and S as the uh, discrete uh, scenarios. Some data uh, as a model parameters uh, needed in this model is uh, probability. Uh, for each scenario, we use uh, discrete scenarios uh, and cost of moving material per unit distance uh, between department uh, I to department uh, and department G. Uh, G. And adjacent uh, value of department I to department G, uh, length and weight of available area, uh, number of demand uh, for product type uh, P in scenario S and unit load from department I to department C for each type product. Uh, minimum and maximum uh, length of department I uh, required for department uh, I, uh, minimum and maximum uh, width of department I, uh, minimum uh, width of uh, ESER uh, between department I to department C in X axis direction and uh, Y axis direction and uh, big M as a significant positive number. The decision number is causes of uh, XI and YI is the uh, 
central cross position of the apartment I in uh, X and Y axis uh, direct direction and length of, uh, of the apartment I uh, width of the apartment I uh, as a decision variable uh, JZ function uh, between the apartment I and the apartment uh, G uh, the uh, function of uh, distance of between the apartment I and the apartment G uh, the distance we calculate using um, height and distance function uh, distance function uh, between distance between uh, the centroid of the apartment I to the uh, centroid of the apartment G in X direction and Y axis direction. And Excuse the me, orientation. Christina, you have five minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, we use uh, uh, two uh, type of orientation. Uh, we use a binary uh, variable one one. Uh, or zero if the length of the apartment is uh, in parallel uh, with uh, x uh, axis uh, direction or vertical with x axis direction. It's a formula of uh, multi objective uh, in uh, our model. The first is minimize the total, uh, the expected total cost of uh, moving the, between the apartment. Uh, in planning horizon, uh, horizon, and the second is maximize the total adjacent values between departments uh, based on the relationship and the distance uh, between departments. And the last is uh, maximize the utilization uh, ratio of the usage uh, area for all departments to available areas. There are some constraints to be considered in uh, our model uh, because we use uh, Topaz optimization of the first is uh, uh, the expected total cost of uh, material transfer between the departments uh, and uh, we convert to uh, linearization of the absolute uh, of the distance and the frequency of uh, transfer department uh, between departments uh, for its scenario in the constraint six. My attempt distance function is used to uh, calculate the uh, distance between department in the Considering uh, seven, considering eight and uh, nine, uh, uh, set the length and width rings for its uh, abutment. And considering ten and eleven is the central position uh, of its abutment uh, in x and uh, y axis direction. Uh, considering twelve up to uh, fourteen uh, to uh, ensure that uh, its apartment is without uh, overlapping in both uh, dimension and the relationship between the position department and the distance, uh, distance uh, between departments is uh, shown in the uh, constraint 15 up to uh, 17 and the maximum distance between departments is uh, stated in the uh, constraint 18 and all the, the uh, decision variables domain uh, we uh, stated in the considering 19 up to 25. Linearization of the Mayton uh, distance formula. Showing as follow. Uh, we use a uh, numerical example uh, to show the model, uh, application of this model, uh, the available area uh, with the length uh, 55 uh, units and uh, the width is 40 uh, units. Uh, with so, uh, in X and Y direction between uh, departments uh, is three units. This is the data for the sequence uh, of production process flow for its uh, type of product. Uh, we have uh, one uh, product uh, will be processes in the uh, eight departments. And this is the demand uh, for each scenario. The unit load uh, between uh, department uh, for each product, the determination uh, ranks in uh, length and width of the each pro department, the lower and upper uh, length and lower and upper uh, width for each department, and material handling cost for uh, unit uh, between uh, departments. The example for scenario one, uh, the frequency uh, of transfer uh, between departments as shown in this table. And we solve this problem using a uh, Kurobi uh, optimizer. 
uh, Python and get the optimal solution uh, at the position uh, and the orientation. Uh, show the uh, orientation is shown in uh, binary uh, variable uh, set i. Uh, one is the, uh, the line of the department is uh, parallel in the x uh, axis of direction and zero for department three and uh, department uh, seven and eight is uh, uh, particular with the x axis uh, direction. This is the distance uh, between department uh, and the consequence of the uh, tension factor between department. So means department one should be close and two and uh, to department three and uh, four and so on. Zero means uh, this uh, department between department uh, one and department uh, eight is uh, where uh, far. This is a facility layout uh, in four time with the uh, three objective uh, function. As a conclusion, um, multi uh, objective robust optimization model uh, has been proposed in this uh, paper. Uh, we use uh, three objective uh, function uh, as mentioned before, and this in this paper we use a uh, exact model. Uh, so for the uh, next uh, research, we can uh, develop uh, the uh, heuristic or meta heuristic uh, to get a more efficient runtime uh, with a near optimal solution. Some references we use it, and thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you very much to Ms. Dina Natalia Prayogo for her presentations. And yeah, could you please give applause to Ms. Dina by using virtual applause, clicking reaction and below the screen. Thank you. Okay, uh, before we move on to the next presenter, I'd like to uh, invite everyone, if you have any question to Ms. Dina. No questions. Perhaps uh, I have one question before we move on. Uh, Ms. Dina, you measure the uh, this model based on cost minimizations. What about right. the what about the throughput? Do you also measure the throughput of this uh, layout? Yes, uh, because the time uh, uh, we do not consider as a stochastic so the throughput is uh fixed in this uh problem we assume is a uh, fix so we now uh, measure as a objective uh, in our model okay okay thank you very much okay thank you okay thank you miss dina for your presentations the next one thank you is... the opportunity thank you